What's up guys, Dustin you here, back with the Detroit Red Wings franchise mode. Back in action. Back in black. Hit the, hit the sack. So, so. We're 16-27-8 uh, and eight right now. Uh, we're currently tied for last place with Vegas and I think, yeah, the Islanders. Um, uh, so last time the, the kind of thought was about getting rid of Eric Stahl. Potentially, because we need to get a first-round pick for our uh, owner goals. Um, so, uh, I've been looking at it just to get it done. I I don't know. I think I think there's something with the patch. Uh, but a lot of the teams I tried, like, I basically tried tr trading him uh, to a bunch of teams. And a bunch of them came back saying, like, Hey, we, we're saving cap for players that we that we need to re-sign. Even, even though Eric Stahl only has a year left. So I was a bit curious why why that was, trying to find out, but uh, yeah, I thought that was a bit strange. Uh, they, they would come back with counter comments, being like, oh, if you give us a little extra, we might be close, kind of thing. And then once it was even, or like, you know, t in their favor, they would say, oh, we're actually trying to save cap. So it's kind of annoying. You're like, uh, well, are you saving cap or not saving? Like, what are you guys doing? Uh, but anyways, I did find a team that wants him. Um, I don't know how they have enough cap space for him it doesn't really make any sense to me uh center wise as well i mean actually yeah they could use him i was looking before and i wasn't sure uh they could definitely yeah they could definitely use him uh they only have kopitar and carter down the middle so uh, eric Stahl definitely improves their center line uh draft picks so first rounder uh they are about 500 so i'm not really sure yeah i'm not really sure well nah, i guess a little bit over 500 but uh, first round and the second round, I, uh, I don't think that worked. I'm gonna just give it a trade rejected, yeah, okay. Uh, so I did a third. Let's see if I can do... Uh, maybe not. I was gonna say maybe, uh, next year's second, but... Uh, third went through... I'm pretty sure third will go through. Uh, but let's see if we can get, like, something else here. Third and a fourth, maybe. If we can get some extra picks, that'd be nice. Let's just give this a go. Trade rejected, okay. How about a... This is, I'm just gonna keep going down the line until we uh, get a deal here. No. Fifth, okay. How about how about a sixth? I just want to see if I can get a, a little extra. Six? There it is. Happy, happy to accept this pros on behalf on the Los Angeles Kings, and we consider it a done deal. Boom. All right. So we trade Eric Stahl. Got a first round pick. Owner should be happy. Um, I'm guessing I have to sim a day probably. Oh, he reassess he assesses that February, so that's the trade deadline. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, also, there's uh, somebody in the comments last time that said, uh, that Anthony Lepic says we don't need 20 scouts. You can have a max of 20. Uh, he said I run with 12 to 15 to have a better overall. Uh, so basically, you can have better scouts, but you need less of them. Uh, can move a few amateurs who have few prospects in regions. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So maybe that's maybe that's the approach we take. I'm I'm trying out different things with this, so I <laughs> I don't know. We haven't really found a yeah. We haven't really found the groove yet, you know. But I definitely appreciate you guys uh, sending in like like comments helping me out. <laughs> uh, I'm not too thrilled with you trading away Eric Stahl. Uh, I guess basically some of you have to make decisions that are tough. Uh, I mean, Nicholas Cronwall seems like a, uh, a seasoned veteran. Uh, I think you would understand that. Let's see. You seem to light a fire under Nicholas Cronwall. You responded positively to your assertive tone. There we go. Nice. Hi, hey, kid. Uh, Witkowski, glad to see yeah, so we call. I already did the lines before I traded them. Uh, glad to see that you pulled the trigger and calling me up. Uh, no spawn on the team working hard. Is there anything that yeah? Let's do that with him too. Dis is more disgruntled. Oh, gee. fine. I'll send you down, dick face. <laughs> I'll send you down, bro. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, placing Curtis McDermott on waivers. I tried to go to edit lines. Uh, would you like to claim him? Uh, one year left. I wish you could see more info. Still think twenty-five. I have no information on this guy. Has he even played it? He hasn't played a game yet this year. Wow. They're, oh, it's, you know it's because we made the trade. 
Yeah, it's definitely because we made the trade. Shot blocking 88. Uh, we years remaining one. I mean, we could take a chance on him. Just pick it up. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll climb him. I don't know how good he is, but. All right, edit lines. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so here's our new lines. I kind of just shifted it around a bit. Uh, so uh, mostly just the center spot. Uh, so I put Glenn Denning uh, from the right wing on the fourth line to center. Moved up Helm. Moved up Ath <laughs> Athanasiu. Uh, A Athanasiu. Athanasiu. I've, I've said it several different ways, and I still can't seem to get it right. And then Dylan Larkin moved back up. Uh, and then we shifted Vanek over to the second line right wing, because he shoots right. Not that he needs to be there. And Anthony Mantha is back on the left wing. So we put our uh, Mantha, Larkin, Zanino back together. Witkowski's filling in that fourth line. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And then on the AHL, I think we just called out, we put in uh, Chris Terry. Apparently he's a sniper. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, our owners should be happy. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep simming through this one. Uh, oh, you know what we should do? We should do our trade block. Yeah, that's what we should do. I'm almost I'm almost curious now. Like, they definitely there is a patch and they added some pop-ups and stuff. Um, so I, I think one of those is the is the thing where they, like, assess their players. Um, but I'm wondering if we just wipe our scouts out and, like, start fresh next season. Um, what else do we want to do here? Sorry, what was I going to do? Edit trade block, right? I think I need to go in here. Browse, training block, trade block. There we go. There it is. Uh, okay, so assets offered nothing. Surplus wants uh, first round picks. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's... I don't think there's anybody else I want to trade away. Most people want to give us draft picks for, like, prospect goalies. <laughs> we have a lot of those. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we got we got some depth for sure now. Uh, we just gotta let them uh, get better, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping next year a bunch of our rookies can play at least in the AHL. Be nice to get them in the NHL, but yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't expect any other trades, so we're pretty much good to go. I mean, Eric Stahl losing him makes us a little bit worse, which is good. Um, yeah, let's see if we get any offers here. Let's see. It's not going to make us better. We shouldn't be winning games. We should continue to lose. We definitely want to shoot for that first overall. Oh, we beat Chicago. Okay, still good. It's all right. As long as my first line performs, that's all I care about. If the rest of our team does absolutely nothing, it doesn't even matter. Joe Morrow? What? Joe Morrow on waivers. Would you like to claim? Maybe. I, I like Joe Morrow. Uh, top 6D potential. 27. 79. Uh, I mean, we could pick him up. It's not terrible. What's his contract? One year left. 1.5 million. Uh, will be top 4 defenseman for us. Last scouted on by Brock Ruidel. Maybe we take him. I think we, we definitely have space. We don't need to keep these guys, but we can climb them, sure. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let, you know what? Let's claim them. For now. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So we, we've claimed two defensemen. And I'm not sure where they... Uh, Oh my god, why does it keep doing that? I went to edit lines. No! <laughs> Stupid game. Stop. Uh, are they in our lineup? Hold on. I need to go to Scratched. Are they both here? No. They'd be in the AHL, eh? AHL, Joe Morrow. Okay. And McDermott. Okay. Um, maybe. I was like, I do like all these guys like here. Uh, what do we do here? I mean, we're not making playoffs. Yeah, I think we just leave him. Leave him in the AHL for now. That's fine. 
Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep him down here. We have Puempel. Man, he's going. Uh, Zadina's got 43 points. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going to the trade headline here. I mean, the goal of the year was to just absolutely bomb, so I feel like we're doing a good job of that. Uh, when is our... Oh, yeah, so it's past the trade deadline. That's when our assessment is. 8-1 loss. Beautiful. Pro Scout. Uh, recommend... Yeah, I'm going to do this just so he doesn't change our trade block. There we go. Trade deadline. I'd love to see the trade deadline mini game come back. That, that was fun with all the phones from last gen. Man, that was that was great. Uh, okay, so we're 1935 9. Where are we sitting right now? Is the trade deadline? We could make some moves if we need to. Uh, 47 points. We're last place, dead last. We're dead last. Uh, where's LA? I want to see where LA is. LA has moved up into third in the Pacific. It's kind of good, actually. Not good for our, our draft picks, but I'm glad they're uh, improving based on our, you know, based on our trade. It's great to see. Uh, what? Unhappy? Is he just unhappy? So that's why we got a, a red flag. A, yeah, the other thing that I... Ex wait, what? Or is it because today is the evaluation? I don't know. I'm I'm confused. Maybe, maybe I have to advance a day. I was like, maybe he's assessing us today. Advance a day. Good job. There we go. So you keep doing this and you're shooting for an extension. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Uh, okay. So apparently that also means our scouts are... I don't know. Scouts are doing something here. <laughs> not too sure. Uh, view draft class. Oh, there's not much to do now, I guess, eh? Okay, view draft class. Let's just take a peek at the draft class. Actually, yeah, you know what? Ooh, Caden Connor. Man, there's a there's a couple good players up here. Alexis Lafreniere. I don't know, man. Two solid players. I think Lafreniere would be nice. He was a left wing. That's weird. Usually the uh, the top duders in the drafts are usually centermen. Jonathan Taves. What's he look like? Nicholas Backstrom. M Michelle Goulet? What? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Mark Edward Vlasic. Okay. Rob Blake. Nice. Yeah, so we're definitely going to take one of these guys. I think, I'm think i thinking Lafreniere goes first for us. Or, you know, we'll see where we where we land in the in the fantasy, or fantasy draft. <laughs> in the draft lottery. Okay, let's uh, let's keep let's keep motoring here. Let's keep on motoring. I don't want to take too long here. Uh, we still got a month and a bit left, eh? Uh, let's just go halfway through. Uh, let's go halfway through. Oh, Washington. I didn't even. I can't even see the Washington game. We must have lost though. We still have 19 wins, so. Season ticket drive starting. Uh, you know what? Let's do that really quick. Uh, two fifty. Two fifty. We'll go two sixty. I'm just gonna do this really fast. Fifty five. I try and go just a little bit above. Uh, you know what? Let's go hundred bucks more. Executive suites. Oh, those are expensive. Holy crud. $13,300. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, marketing budget. Yeah, so we'll do marketing budget here quick. Uh, so, yeah, we always keep it. I always keep it at like 5%, but we want to lower some of this stuff. Uh, 30... 30, 30, what does that give us? Uh, 40. I still want to sell game day tickets. So leave that for now. We'll just lower our advertising. Yeah. Yeah, that looks okay. We'll do that. Save budget. Yeah, I like to go full, just full ham on uh, season tickets. Uh, okay, 20, 38, and 10. 
Not bad, not bad. Okay, don't start winning, guys. There we go. <laughs> That's the last thing we need is for us to start winning. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Detroit Red Wings. Playoff push. Here we go. Uh, release their... Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll look at this scouting at the end. Um, shoot a loss. Okay, so where are we sitting? Are we still last place? I just like to keep an eye. So, Zadina, 50 points. Uh, 57. Ooh, Vancouver is getting close to us. 58 points. No! We gotta start losing, boys. We need to start losing. It's gonna be a, a battle for, for first overall. I mean, even if we get second, Lafreniere isn't slotted to go first overall, so that's still okay. But I am very surprised we're winning. <laughs> very surprised. We're winning a few games here. Uh, player meaning, sure. Why not? Uh, Cronwall. Not usually, but my lack of ice time. Not seeing what I expect from you. Yeah. Little bugger. Uh, Miss Playoffs, boys. Never, I thought I'd never have this here. Uh, I mean, kind of expected it. Um, we didn't play our best. The results are what, is what results will be. Uh, need to be better next year. Sure. Okay. Team is just absolutely frustrated. So mad. That's okay. 5 3 loss in our finale. Good. 5 0 against Florida. Perfect. Okay, where are we? Hopefully we are last. Dead last. Where's Vancouver? 70 points. Nice. Columbus 66. Yes, we finished dead last, baby. It was a it was a hard road, but we did it. We wanted to do it last year, but that's okay. Lafreniere. Let's do it, baby. Um, okay, so let's do some stuff here. Actually, is the season actually done? Regular season has ended. Okay. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's do some stats. Let's do some stats quick. Obviously, we finished uh, last place, which is decent for us. Let's see what the other teams look like, though. So, Tampa first place, President's Trophy winners, Buffalo, Washington. So, Washington definitely had a bounce back here. Uh, that's a lie. It said the season was finished. It's clearly not. Buffalo still has a game. Uh, San Jose, Pittsburgh, Toronto, Minnesota, Chicago, Dallas, New Jersey, Carolina, New York. Really? The Jets missed the playoffs? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Okay, some of that doesn't make sense. LA Kings didn't make it either? Wow. Jeez, man. That's crazy. I thought we put them in a good spot. <laughs> I mean, that's that's better for us for the, uh, the draft, but... So we'll have like a 11th pick, potentially? Or I guess 12th now, yeah. That's <laughs> that's crazy. We finished last, but... Uh, damn, okay. Alright, that's cool. It's all good. Did they add the uh, the overalls? No, they didn't add them yet. Either. I wonder if that'll be coming. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for overalls to be added in the screen so you could actually see them. That's okay. Alright, so Zadina had 55 points. Uh, for us, not bad. Uh, not great, obviously. Uh, Thomas Vanek, 49 points. Pretty good. Larkin, 49. Svechnikov had 47. Good year for him. What does Larkin look like? 85 still. Vanek, 82. Mantha had 45. Wow. He dropped from an 87 to an 83? <laughs> what? Is that even possible? My lord. That's terrible. What the heck? It could be morale, though. That's potentially what it is. Athena, see you. 82. Okay. 36 points. Donskoy, Helm, picked up a little bit. Uh, okay. Pretty much what I expected. I didn't expect Mantha to drop that much, though. Not good. Uh, Bernie is still on 83. Satari, 76. Okay. All right. Alright, okay. Um, dope. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's. Oh, you know what? Because Buffalo hasn't actually finished their season yet. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just sim one more day. Advance one more day, and then we'll do the overall. So, they should be done now, right? Does Buffalo play their last game? Who else didn't have their last game? 
Oh yeah, it looks like everybody's done now. Okay, cool. There we go. So now we'll look at overall stats in the league. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, the NHL looks like here. Uh, no, 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 no. NHL. Okay, so 94 points. Ovechkin, 51 goals. Tarasenko, 93 points. Also 51 goals. Giroux, 92 points. Kessel, 92 points. Crosby, 92 points. Tavares, 54 goals, 91 points. Holy moly. Marner, 87 points, 16 goals. That's it? That's when playing with uh, Tavares. Jack Eichel, 84 points. Kuznetsov, 84. Kutrov, 83. Marchand. Where the heck is McDavid? Oh, there he is. 81 points. He's still constantly... Like, he's still he's still constantly getting up there. But I wish that, I also wish that there was, like, a uh, a total at the bottom. That'd be nice. Like, a full, full career total. That'd be pretty cool to see. Because it kind of stays within this range, right? But at the bottom, it should have, like, your career totals in both leagues. Or just whatever leagues, right? Um... I mean, he's been having a pretty good career so far, though. Stamkos. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's go. Let's just check out the goals. So, yeah, Tavares, most goals. And I'm guessing Marner, 71 assists. Yeah. Woo. That's insane. All right, defenseman. So, they did patch defenseman. I don't know if that'll change how this looks. Uh, Ristolainen had 66 points. Doughty. Carlson on the Devils. So weird. Um... Yeah, it would have been nice to have, like, the initial roster, but that just came out, so... Or, it's coming out today or something. Uh, I don't see... Yeah, but, I mean, this was the... The patch came out, and we still have 32 games, so this might change. We might see a little bit of difference in the, in the defensemen next year, I would guess, potentially. Um... Let's see rookie skaters, maybe even. Elias Peterson. Pedersen. Peterson. Pedersen. Elias Pedersen. 62 points as a rookie. So he didn't actually play last year. He played this year. Brady Kachuk, 56 points. Not bad. Christian Veselainen, 51 on the Jets. Not bad. Kenny Svechnikov, 47. So he came fourth. That's actually pretty good. I didn't expect a whole lot out of him. And yeah, he definitely proved me wrong. So it's awesome. Oh, Sammy Niku. Oh, he's on Calgary. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, I'm actually curious. Just for just for curiosity's sake, what uh, Darlene had. Uh, where is he? Oh my god, 12 points. Whew. Yowzers. Bust. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what overall? He's only 83 overall, too. That's... Yeah, that's weird. So strange, man. So strange. Uh, so there's that. And then, yeah, the last thing I want to do is just look at the draft class here quick. Going into... Uh, I mean, obviously, we have these the draft lottery coming up, but... Oh, they've re-ranked these. So Lafreni is actually th ranked third now. Yoshimiru Mira, Mira is second. Uh, previous, yeah. So I think regardless, if we get if we get a first, I'm probably taking Lafreniere. Not gonna lie. It's probably the way it's gonna go. Um, this Caden Connor looks pretty sick too, but we have enough left wing, left handed snipers. So Lafreniere would be a nice change of pace. 200 foot game, offensive creativity, playmaking ability, weaknesses none. Nicholas Backstrom, cool. Yeah. Yeah, like this guy definitely looks good, but I, I think uh, Lafreniere is going to be the complete package. And then around, oh man, we don't really have. How are we? How are we ranked here? Oh, there it is. Uh, to ver a grinder? What? Dude, I don't even know what we're going to do in these. Uh, uh, so maybe we pin. Get some of these guys scouted. Yeah, let's pin a couple guys around this range because we're gonna we're gonna have probably the 11th or 12th pick unless we get somehow miraculously get moved up with the LA pick. Um, so 
Yeah, let's see if we can get these guys scouted a bit more. Uh, potential. Okay. Uh, scouting. Potential. Yeah, I'd like to get some more info on these dudes. Just so we're fully prepared going into the draft. Uh, scout. Oh, he's already being scouted. Oh, can I ch change? What's What are they scouting? I don't even know. I'm not even sure what they're scouting on this guy. This guy's also being scouted. Also being scouted. And this guy too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely like to get some info on these guys. And then I guess we would have... Oh yeah, we have all these guys being looked into. Uh, a couple of these guys aren't actually being looked into though. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, sniper. I mean, second second round sniper would be bad. Actually, what do we have for info? Top. Okay. Uh, defenseman. Ooh. Elite defenseman. That's all right. Uh, okay, so maybe let's scout this guy. Marco Koivu. <laughs> And uh, Hewitt, Alan Hewitt. Let's get this guy looked at. And I think, yeah, I think that'd be good. Oh, actually, medium elite. Uh, yeah, let's look at this guy too. We'll just double check. If they say elite, I'm gonna double check just to make sure. Even this guy too. Man, there's a couple down here. My gosh. Oh. Enforcer defense? No, I can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, he's scouted by Mark Marco Koifu. <laughs> I thought that was a player's name. I was like, wait a minute, it's the same guy. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, definitely look into those guys. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. So obviously not a great season. We we were trying to tank. We tanked. We're gonna hopefully get Alexis Lafreniere. That's the that's the ideal situation. Um, and then we also will have. They pick around 11 or 12. I'm guessing 12. And there looks like there's a couple good players. And then into the second round, for sure, a couple extra players. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and then, so I guess next video will be the draft lottery. Uh, we'll do the awards. Uh, we'll check out the, uh, yeah, like who won the cup uh, and the Calder, Calder Cup. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do like the draft, the re sign. And it's going to be a massive video. So, <laughs> all right. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.